All new at 530, an organization that helps abuse children now needs your help. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane tonight learns about the extra funding they need to help kids feel safe. It's a lot of trauma for a, for a youngster to have to go through. Kids who are in abusive situations are brought here to the Children's Advocacy Center of Hernando County. We deal a lot with children that have been physically abused. They've been victims of sexual abuse. Lieutenant William Power says instead of interviewing the child at the sheriff's office, a therapist speaks with the child at the center while detectives watch from another room. The interview is recorded for law enforcement along with a physical exam all under one roof. And that really prevents the child from being re-victimized by having to tell their story over and over. Their goal is for the child to feel safe after going through something traumatic. Director Janine Hammett remembers a specific child they helped. She was so terrified, screaming, crying. She didn't want to be here. And by the time she left, she didn't want to leave. And so that really was one of the cases that stuck with me in terms of we really made her feel safe. Justine Alimeni does therapy with part of the 120 kids a week. Our therapists kind of give them an opportunity to have a trusting adult in their lives. All of the center's services are free, but they need help paying for important supplies. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office is asking for the public's help. You can vote online daily to help the center's chance at receiving a $5,000 grant. It's free money that they can use to get you know, more toys for the kids, more therapeutic things for the kids. If you want to vote, we have everything you need to know on our website, abcactionnews.com. In Hernando County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.